Sooner Scoop HD. Um, as we had hoped, obviously, to win, but really with so much respect for, for Iowa State. How they play, um, the culture that they have, and the belief that they still play with, uh, the efficiency that they play with, particularly on defense. Uh, we knew that um, our offense was going to have to play really efficiently and patiently, uh, being tough, physical, disciplined, uh, capitalized situationally. Uh, again, I thought our, you know, we won the rushing total. Uh, we won the turnover margin. Um, we were more efficient, you know, on third and fourth downs. Uh, you know, there's plenty of mistakes uh, on, on both sides of the ball. Um, but our kicking game, again, was a real weapon for us. Uh, Zach Schmidt has been a, just an assassin, as I've said before. Um, guy doesn't flinch. Um, to me, he's he could be a, an MVP, MVP candidate, you know, here after uh, whatever we're, is that eight games? Is that eight? Yes. So, uh, but Michael Turk had, again, his first career touchdown pass and the two 60 and 61 yard punts in the fourth quarter were just enormous. You know, they turned right into two turnovers uh, for the defense. Again, Iowa State rushed for 2.4 a carry and we did rush just for uh, under four yards. I think the second best rushing total that they've given up all year, 182 rushing yards. Um, Again, really just loved our mindset. You know, had an attack mindset all day. Had three three interceptions. Danny uh, Danny Stutzman with his first career interception. And, uh, you know, puts us in a uh, you know position to go score. Just uh, just fantastic. Deshaun White had a career high 14 tackles. Uh, Woody uh, makes that huge uh, stop there on fourth down. Had a you know, another PBU uh, or an interception and had eight tackles. Uh, thought our guys up front were disruptive. We played downhill and physical. You know, our positioning was really pretty good. You know, but really, you know, as we you look at, we had too many drops on offense. And then, you know, on defense, um, just felt that we allowed them to stay in the game. I thought that we made some things way too easy uh, for Iowa State with all respect to Iowa State. I think they do a terrific job. But uh, just incredibly proud of our guys. And again, we have a, you know, our focus right now is about, you know, finish what you started. You know, no, I don't fear a whole lot, but I fear not finishing what I started. And, and this, that, this has been the mantra of this team, the leadership. This, the leadership has been incredible. Um, sometimes they, they can be really good even through, you know, loss. You know, that happens too, you know. Uh, but to love the, the mindset the attitude, uh, the love for one another that these guys have. It's, you know, I've been saying it for a long time and um, I don't feel like I make stuff up. It, you know, I'm just calling it how I see it and what my eyes tell me. And these guys have been improving. That's what I love. I saw just incremental improvement. I loved how we played up front again. For the most part, I thought we were really good. And uh, just really, really uh, thankful for, for both the, you know, the players and the coaches thought we put together a good game plan and again uh, come on the road again playing at 11 a.m. again great job uh, by everyone and then again we know what's sitting in front of us you know uh, we've got two more games at the Palace uh, with Baylor and Oklahoma State and um, uh, but we're going to celebrate this get the mistakes corrected um, first thing on Monday and, and try to see if we can get a little better and go 1-0 you know next week. Bob used to get used to go for it on fourth down Kicks and stuff. You've got a reputation as a riverboat gambler. Does it feel like a gamble sometimes when you're when you've got that much confidence in your kicker to be able to execute that one? Um, it doesn't feel like a gamble. Um, obviously, these are very calculated decisions based on you know lots of film study and looking at what the opportunities either are or aren't there. You know, it's like with anything. You know, there's an opportunity to, to get out of it if you need to. And um, just the execution was, was terrific. You know, I think one of the best plays you can make in a situation where you have a, a fake alert on is, is getting out of it, uh, which we've done this year. And so, you know, but well executed. Again, we said all week, you know, in order to win this game, you got to play well. You don't have to play perfect, but you got to play well. And sometimes that just mean, means that you got to play complimentary football. When there's opportunities there, you, 
you got to have the execution. It's got to be effort with execution, right? Effort with technique. Can't just be, oh, I'm charged up, ready to play and compete. You got to have some precision and some timing and some technique that goes along with it. And I'm just super proud of, of uh, you know, uh, the coaches and the players, you know, that were a part of that. Grant, can you talk a little bit about the run game, how you guys were able to really grind things out on the ground, and then also Eric Ray, hurt in the third quarter, really looked bad, he comes back, finishes the game, talk a little bit about Eric's game, and maybe just the injury progress that he went through. Yeah, again, Eric's been incredibly tough all year, uh, loves to compete, he's the same guy every single day, every single play, uh, it doesn't matter what drill, uh, what just happened, he responds, he's mature beyond his years uh, just you know loves his teammates very selfless guy uh, don't know any uh, where any injury uh, where, where that is right now but um, he was uh, had a big smile on his face a few minutes ago and uh, but offensive line and the backs are just and Dylan's a part of that too with fakes or he kept a couple you know early as well he's just efficient and physical and moving people and putting hats on people excellent job um, even with our you know our sniffers or receivers we use them a little bit to you know gain an extra hat and just thought that Jeff and uh, Bill and uh, DeMarco those guys did a great job at some of the the schemes that you know those are those are really good plays you know those three four five yard runs those are great plays uh, again moving the moving the ball you know creating field position uh, using the clock you know and again there's nothing nothing wrong with every once in a while punting you know and playing that game uh, as well so just again that that's the efficiency that I'm you know talking about and then ready to capitalize situationally uh, when it's there and I thought we were able to do that you know you know in all three phases you know of, of our team you know today did you win the physicality battle? I mean, it looked like you, did. you just talked about getting four or five yards when you needed it with the receivers and everything else. Your defense, too. Why not a big game? Happy with your physicality? Today? Yeah, no doubt. You know, aggressiveness, physicality, and toughness, you know, you got to have that. Those things travel well. And um, our guys brought it and, again, had the right mindset. Starts with having just a, you know, mindset of a champion. Doesn't mean you're a champion. Just means, like, this is what it takes. And if you don't have it right in the mind, first and foremost, you know, uh, you're not going to achieve that. So, the guys have had the right mindset. And again, I'm just, we're getting better. That's what I would say. And uh, you get better, you grow confidence, and you have a little bit of edge and swag through the work that you're doing. You know, by doing the hard over and over and over and over and over, doing the little things over and over and over, making him run all the way off the field in practice, making him run back if he doesn't do it. You know, not looking the other way with the little things. It's always about the little things. And, you know, so through all this, you know, where some people might say, well, whatever you're doing isn't working, that's one way to look at it. Or you're faithful to your processes and how you um, be successful at anything. You know, something that doesn't have anything to do with quote unquote football. You know, it's just life, you know, life, life lessons of, of being, you know, faithful to the little things. And that's what our guys have done. And so the improvement comes from how we've been practicing. And, uh, and being more and more sure of ourselves. Guys just getting better, uh, more sure of themselves. Today. Is he okay? Yeah, he had a, had a slight hammy um, pulled late this week. So. Ready, your defense uh, went out on the field twice mm -hmm. with Iowa State, uh, chance to tie in the mm -hmm. fourth quarter. Got turnovers both times, two interceptions. How pleasing is it? To these guys have had some rough times. Yeah. They came through the no, it was a breakthrough uh, for them. And yeah, hopefully it continues to, you know, add, lend credibility to what you've been asking them to do. All the work that it takes just to play good, not even play great, to play good. And so it's not what you do um, occasionally that allows you to be successful. It's what you do consistently. And our guys have, through all of it, have consistently come in and put the work in that it takes. They've strained uh, on the practice field. Uh, they've strained off the field in the film room. Have put a ton of time in on their own, and I just love to see that the, the belief that these guys have continued to show up with uh, through it all. Again, this is Oklahoma, so I, I'm always mindful of uh, you know the experiences maybe that these guys have had, and again, understanding uh, the commitment. Um, 
could be in question if if they're not having the kind of success it's easy if you listen to the noise that you know nobody knows what they're doing you know uh, what we are asking them to do isn't the right you know recipe uh, the right process and so and to see our guys not flinch and continue to believe, continue to work, and just keep their head down, or instead of worrying about success happening or winning happening, they've just been so busy working, okay, that you know it inevitably happens on its own. When you when you sign up for something, and you're always looking for well, how am I going to be rewarded? You'll never have a chance to be your best. And our guys have 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 done that uh, consistently. Um, just you know, not ask for anything. And, um, and that's not an easy thing to ask, but our guys have done that. So critical situation, again, I think, again, goes back to the mindset and the improvement, the things that they've seen on the practice field, what I've seen with my eyes, and these guys just trusting uh, the system, trusting each other, trusting the call, believing in, you know, what they're doing and their fundamentals under stress and, and you know, real critical situations. Those things show up. And, uh, you know, certainly far from perfect, and uh, there's a lot to clean up, but, Again, it was enough to, to win today. What are you doing today against this defense, especially the decisions that you have to make? A bit of a game that you play in this game. Again, I, I give him an A. Uh, knowing the things that he's seeing nonstop from these guys and the discipline, the efficiency that they, they play with. I mean, you're, I thought he was terrific. Um, and again, he'll he'll want some things back. Jeff will want some things back. But for me, managing it the right way and not uh, forcing things, uh, which can happen when you're used to having a lot of uh, offensive success. I thought that I thought that again, the play calling and the execution was terrific from that standpoint. Coach, when you give up a, a high point total defensively four games in a row, mm -hmm. how difficult is it to, to get the confidence back? It's not an easy thing. I, I you know, but. We have a lot of, of our guys are smart, and they, they've got a lot of video evidence. Um, what we've been able to do on the practice field, um, again, the improvement that they've made, I think that's where you can continue to have confidence and um, belief uh, in our coaches and our schemes. You know, but we have a we have a lot our teach tapes. We got a lot of teach tapes, and they see when when we do the little things right, when we trust, when we align, we stance alignment, assignment key. You know, we play with the discipline that it takes. We play with the aggression and the assuredness that it takes. Then good things will happen, and good things will happen for those that attack. And and that's what we've been. You know, we've been trying to get our guys just pull them through the knot hole when it comes to um, having the attack mindset all the time. Trust. And um, again, today was just another step forward. So I don't, I don't know what it is on the Richter scale, and it's hard to put a, uh, you know, how difficult that is. But it's not an easy thing to do. I get that. And, but when you're, when you're faithful, when you're convicted, when you're confident, uh, when you're consistent in your approach and your demands and how you do what you do, uh, and why you do what you do, you know, these players, you know have done a great job just continuing to believe in that in in the formula for success and today was again another day where uh you know we're just again getting a little bit better Brent, the fake field goal is that, is it, that looked familiar like you guys did that 20 in that in the game against texas in 99. yeah blood shirts at duncan you remember that play yeah i What's can't that? remember um we didn't have that on uh, a card from 99. It might have been the exact execution, but I, I don't know. I can't remember from 99. Uh, I was gonna say, did that come from you, or, or who put that in? Well, our, we, our staff, you know, we, we look at all those things, uh, you know, throughout the week. You know, uh, Jay Nunez is kind of oversees everything, and then uh, Bill Beedenbo, uh, you know, was a big part of, you know, making some of those decisions and looking at you know the opportunities that are always there and many weeks there's not opportunities in any of the phases of the kicking game and uh, and then sometimes there potentially could be some opportunity it still comes you guys still got to execute it and that's why I thought our players did a great job executing you know uh, putting a hat on a hat taking good leverage you know selling the you know the kick there's a lot that goes into that and I uh, thought our guys did a great job of executing but a great plan you know by by Jay and Bill Sorry, Coach. Uh, one more, Eli. Uh, Billy back today in midweek. We were a little. What to that? And as far as Tyler Blake, what's going on today? Um, so Tyler had a funeral. Uh, his uncle uh, passed away, and uh, Billy, again, he's been busting his butt, you know, trying to 
get himself back. You know, I don't look, I don't like seeing DBs out there with a big old brace on. Uh, but you know, our doctors, you know, cleared him based on how the week went, and um, can always have a setback. Uh, but he's he's really done a great job in his rehab and uh, took a look. Uh, really just kind of ran around on his own on Monday and uh, Tuesday. I uh, took a little bit of uh, reps and um, Wednesday a little bit more, Thursday about the same and felt great, you know, responded to, you know, three or four days of, you know, some wear and tear, you know, no swelling and things of that nature. So it's good to have him back and uh, it'd be good to have him back when he doesn't have the brace on. Sooner Scoop HD.